can you imagine slightly bumping into someone and then being like i truly apologize for the mistake i've done and i hope i can earn your freaking are you okay we all make mistakes it's part of being human but knowing how to say i'm sorry in spanish can truly make a difference stop saying lo siento for everything the word sorry in spanish has many different a different word for when you've broken something that's not yours or when you want to call someone's attention or when you've broken someone's trust etc today we'll explore the different ways and situations to apologize in spanish what about those moments where all we need is an excuse me perdón is what we're going to use as well as perdona or disculpa for informal situations or disculpe discúlpeme for formal situations. Hola, perdona, ¿ya puedo ordenar? Hola, disculpe, ¿hay citas disponibles para este martes? So basically, to call anyone's attention, use any of these and you'll be fine. But what about that type of excuse me where you've accidentally done something small, like dropping something that's not yours? You can also use any of these disculpa or perdón variations. You've dropped something? Uy. Perdón, se me cayó. You bumped into someone? Ay, disculpa, ¿estás bien? Now, you may have also heard that excuse me can be translated to con permiso. But when do we use it like this? Con permiso is like saying, with your permission, move. Move. For those times when you walk in and you want someone to move out of the way, but you have to say it politely. Con permiso, voy a pasar. Con permiso, voy a pasar. But if they don't want to move and you'll just keep going, to not be rude, you can just walk faster and quickly throw a permiso, gracias. Permiso, gracias. So fast that they don't have time to get mad at you. Another example. When you're at the store and someone's in the way of something you want to reach, con permiso or just permiso will do the job. Or if you're a people pleaser and you want to apologize twice, con permiso, disculpe. You're gonna sound extra nice because yes it's like you have to ask for permission to be in their space or surround it just basic etiquette for normal day-to-day -day interactions now let's go with the real apologies here we also have perdón or perdóname and both mean forgiveness but it doesn't sound that serious this is your go-to for i'm sorry perdón me distraje ¿Qué me decías no fue mi intención perdóname simple direct and widely understood when I'm sorry doesn't cut it, step up your apology game with te pido disculpas or le pido disculpas. Here you are asking for forgiveness. It is often used in more formal, serious, or sincere contexts where a simple perdón is just not deep enough. Te pido disculpas. Mentir no estuvo bien. Les pido disculpas por la tardanza. Había demasiado tráfico. Want a formal and informal option? Lo siento. From the perspective of a native speaker, there's a certain nuance to apologies. People who are comfortable with expressing regret use more lo siento instead of perdón. Why is this? Lo siento packs more of an emotional punch. In English, it translates to I'm sorry, but if you were to dissect it word for word, you'd get I feel it. Kind of deep, huh? Lo siento mucho. No volveré a hablarte de esa manera. Lo siento mucho por mentirte. No sé por qué lo hice. Now, for when you're deeply remorseful, say, no te imaginas cuánto lo siento. It's like you can even imagine how sorry I am. It conveys a more powerful message. You are very, truly sorry. No te imaginas cuánto lo siento. No volveré a hablar mal de Taylor Swift. And here's a little bonus tip. If you want to put some context to your sorry, just add your reason after siento. Siento mucho no haberte prestado atención el otro día. Sometimes we find ourselves in the role of the forgiver. And accepting an apology is just as important as giving one, right? To accept them, you can say, está bien, for it's okay, or no hay problema, to dismiss any trouble. Lamento mucho no haber ido a tu fiesta. Está bien, no te preocupes. Saying te perdono shows forgiveness, but acepto tu disculpa means you accept the apology. Te perdono, pero esta es la última vez. Gracias por ser honesto conmigo. Acepto tu disculpa. You can also use no worries like this. No te preocupes or no se preocupe. 
Maybe an elder accidentally caught you in line. Uy, disculpa, no te vi. No se preocupe, señor. Pase. Or a casual situation with your roommate. Perdón, no me dio tiempo de lavar los platos. No te preocupes, yo los lavo. And there you have it. You're all set with the ins and outs of saying I'm sorry in Spanish. If you want more deep content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos.